the atmosphere. I mean, you come to the races here, and uh, even on a midday week, there's so many people here. And that's kind of what you run for. I mean, forget the money and the business aspect of it is when you go to the races and you win. I mean, winning feels good no matter what, but and there's nobody at the races. It's not that kind of vibe as you come here and there's such a huge crowd and following. I think that, that atmosphere is what makes everyone want to do well in front of it. So much history being Saratoga, the weather is beautiful, the horses enjoy it. That's a tough place to win. Oh, um, so you just try to take it day to day, um, basically, and hopefully you can win some races. It only takes one upset to make history, especially in Saratoga, the graveyard of champions, where the dark horse can overcome the odds, defeating the favorites and wowing the crowds. The smart bet is always the dark horse. That's where we won our first race and then we lost our next like 40. So um, that's how it goes sometimes. And it just obviously the short meet. So if, if your barn's done in form, it really shows up more like as far as not winning than winning at that time. And um, this year we, we bring a, a decent group of horses, um, but it all depends on how the race is shaped up. Uh, the comp competition stuff, everybody's bringing probably the, their best of the best because a lot of people just target as meat. I want to say we target as meat as, as how it fits in the calendar. We just we happen to be here for the meet every year and as we go on more years and we get more horses for the meet then we'll, it'll become like a meet that we target but as of now we just try to participate and hopefully win some races. We had a good year in New York last year we won two great ones in New York um, probably like five greatest stakes and overall like maybe seven or eight stakes so it was a good New York overall obviously Saratoga wasn't what we wanted it to be um, in our first year out, out of town we, we, we thought the results were good. Um, this year we tried, we, we tried to do a bit better and um, we won some greatest stakes out of already and we're just like I said we have we have the foundation and we got the owners behind us and you just want to keep getting better every day and try to make the team better um, hope the team makes me better and it's all that's what it comes down to just trying to improve every day the racing game you're up you're down it's it's, it's constant swings of emotions of highs and lows and you just gotta stay steady but the reality of it is you need the owners to provide the horses and right now we've got the right owners backing us and once you have that and you have the right help um, the sky's the limit.